This is your orchestration tutor, Thomas Goss, with a quick catch-up video for all my friends and subscribers on YouTube. Over the past year, I've had a lot of requests for advice and for more videos in my Intro to Orchestration series, and I've barely been able to do anything on YouTube. It's just been an incredibly busy year for me with commissions, radio scripts, a huge arranging project, and the loss of a parent. sure what to think about it, but many thanks to all my great friends out there who were so supportive during that time. You guys are the best. But look, I didn't make this video to talk about that. Mostly, I wanted to assure you that I'm keeping this channel going, busy as I am right now. In fact, in a few days I'll be uploading a series of videos reviewing the newly released Sibelius 7, about which I've got a lot to say, both good and bad. But in the meantime, let me catch you up on some of the projects that have kept me away from YouTube this year. At the beginning of the year, I orchestrated and scripted another one of my hour-long education programs for the Wellington Orchestra. Only this time, I composed an original story for orchestra and narrator based on the Maori legend of the hero Maui pulling the North Island out of the ocean. I'd been thinking about the music for a long time, but when I was ready, the 12-minute, 47-page score was composed in a white heat over a period of about 10 days. score, plus the usual arrangements of kids' songs and classics, all had to be edited and extracted for parts and so on, but I didn't really get time to catch my breath because I immediately had to jump into my next project, a massive 15-song jazz crossover project for rising Canadian star Nikki Yanofsky. This is one of those commissions that is only possible because of new technology, like emailing Sibelius files and having Skype conferences. The way that it came about was through YouTube. One of my friends out there, a very gifted arranger and jazz pianist, Paul Schroffel, landed a job arranging for Nikki's orchestral gig at the 2011 Montreal Jazz Festival. As soon as I was finished with my Wellington Orchestra program, and Paul came back from a tour of Japan, we rolled up our sleeves in February and got to work on this stack of songs. Sometimes he sent me sketches of ideas to be filled in, other times he sent me almost fully conceived scores, like this one of Nature Boy, which I adjusted for balance and clarity. There was also a nine-piece band of rhythm section plus horns to work out. The whole thing took 90 days of solid work for me, interrupted by my dad disappearing, traveling to the States for a wedding and a funeral, and the various bits of real life that get in the way when you're on a roll. And then, it wasn't enough to arrange this for a 70-piece orchestra. Nikki's management asked for an additional set of arrangements designed for smaller orchestras, in case they took this show on tour. So I went through most of the scores and scaled them down for an ensemble with 32 string players. Thank goodness I didn't have to extract parts on all of these arrangements. Anyway, the very last details were adjusted in June, and the concert went off without a hitch in July. Wow, did I score that? Seems like a lifetime ago now, though it's only been a few months. Since then, Nikki and her band have taken this set of arrangements on tour to Calgary, Edmonton, and Vancouver. But I haven't had time to even think about that, 
because I've been doing a lot of work with Radio New Zealand Concert FM, reviewing CDs and presenting music by different composers. They just broadcast one of my shows last Thursday about the Apaches, a group of artistic misfits that used to hang out with the French composer Maurice Ravel. I'm really proud of this show. I think it's one of my better efforts on radio. If you want to hear it, it's going to be up on the Concert FM website for about two weeks. I've put the link in the sidebar to this video. It's a look at the life of a young composer on his way to making it big, and how he channeled the personalities and experiences around him into groundbreaking music. Might be worth comparing if you're also a young composer making your own way, and you've got a gang of crazy artistic friends. Well, that's it for now. I've got to get back to work on the Sibelius 7 review, so watch out for that in a few days. After that, I've got to work on a concerto that I'm composing for an international series of premieres, and then on yet another education program with another original legend for orchestra and narrator. But I'll try to fit in some shorter videos as I go. I really do miss making these tutorials, and I have several scripted and ready to roll. I just need to find time to shoot and edit. Whatever happens, keep composing and orchestrating. What you're doing makes a difference, whether you realize it or not. There's never been a period of history in which so much individual, original music developed so quickly and visibly with so much support, and you are all a part of that new phenomenon. Keep it strong. <laughs>